Types of ions. Monatomic cations and anions involve only single elements. The metals are the cations and have positive charges. The anions are the nonmetals and have negative charges. This is when we have a single element in the ion. For example, lithium. Lithium with a positive one charge is a monatomic cation. Oxygen with a negative two charge is a monatomic anion. We can use the periodic table to help us predict ionic charges. Remember, since all elements in group one have one valence electron, and for the most part they'll are, they are metals, metals will lose their one valence electron, resulting in a positive one charge. So all the elements in group one will form a positive one ion. In group two, with two valence electrons, we'll see a positive two charge. In group three, or in group 13, three valence electrons will result most often in a positive three charge. Group 14 will be a positive four or a negative four, depending on if it's an metal or a nonmetal. So far what we've seen so far what we've seen is the number of valence electrons lost equals the total positive charge. But now what about our the number of valence electrons that are gained by our nonmetals? Well group 15 has five valence electrons. If it has five valence electrons, that means that it wants to gain three. Given that it's going to gain three electrons, group 15 will have a negative three charge. Group 16 will want to gain two, therefore it'll be a negative two charge. Group 17 will want to gain one, so it'll be a negative one charge. And our noble gases are not going to form ions. It's going to be no charge because they don't want to form an ion. Now remember, our transition metals here, they have a varied number of valence electrons. Therefore, our transition metals can form multiple ions. Let's take a look on the back of our periodic table. When we look on the ion sheet on our periodic table, we can see some of our transition metals, like iron. Iron forms a positive 2 and a positive 3 ion. Right underneath it, we can see lead. Lead forms a positive 2 or a positive 4. Up here, we see copper, positive 1 or positive 2. What we'll see is those 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, Roman numerals are going to be used to indicate the charge of the ion. For example, we saw iron 2, and that was an iron with a positive 2 charge. This is different from iron 3, which will result in a positive 3 charge. So what do you think the charge of a tin 4 ion would be? Sn positive 4. In addition to monatomic cations and anions, we also have polyatomic cations and anions. In addition to our monatomic cations and anions, we also have polyatomic cations and anions. This is going to involve more than one atom, or more than one element. And these elements are going to be covalently bonded together. They're going to act as a single, poly as a single particle. For a list of common polyatomic ions, refer to your periodic table where we see here, cations, polyatomic, and this entire table of anions that are polyatomic. Some common polyatomic ions are NH4 positive, which is the ammonium ion, OH negative, which is the hydroxide, NO3 negative 1, which is the nitrate, and SO4 negative 2, which is the sulfate. See the back of the periodic table for the listings.